Hello, welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we're working on this uh, Vauxhall. It's the 1.4 um, turbo. And we've got this fault code here, P1101, uh, intake airflow system performance. Now I'm gonna show you the dashboard as well. We've got the engine management light on there. When you turn it on, it is permanent. It's not turning off, in other words. So, I'm gonna kind of talk you through what can cause it and what can't. They are common. So if you look online, if you do the research, you'll see plenty of videos and everyone's having different symptoms. So what this means is there's not enough, there's something wrong within the air system. That starts off from here, all the way into the engine, the back of the manifold and whatnot. What I would recommend is checking the mass airflow sensor here, known as MAF as well. Make sure that you are getting readings. Do a live data. Make sure that it's not silly readings, because if they are, then that means that's faulty. And then the other thing that would also cause it would be, which is very common, is this pipe in here that goes all the way across into the back of the manifold. In here, which I'm trying to open up anyway, is a sensor, orangey brownie sensor, which turns to carbon and stick and gets dirty in there. And that causes it to um, kind of wear out and not work and not function as it should. Now you can't just buy the sensor because it is built in here, it's in the back of this. Uh, you have to buy the whole manifold, which I don't recommend buying the manifold from a dealer because it's a good few hundred, probably five, six hundred, maybe more, maybe less. Uh, get an OEM on eBay. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other uh, companies selling it for probably a hundred quid maybe or so. Um, it depends how handy you are. It is not the hardest thing, but it can be changed. This is what the cause of this, this one is here. It was also bringing up a fuel trim which was this here. This is fine. It's this here that causes this to trip as well. Now, in this car's state, in this fault, we know that this fault is related to this. In your case, it could be this. It could be a throttle body as well. It's known for as well, it's sticking. So make sure it's fine and you are getting correct voltage. And you can do a smoke test as well to see if there is any leaks. Usually they are known for bolts and whatnot loosening up around the back so make sure they're all tight and whatnot uh, but yeah the the reality is that code is to do with this here in this car the sensors there um you can't change it buy a, a new em new one i won't buy used as well 